straight down this line, what you're looking at is a grazing lane and it's now closed off. We just closed it yesterday afternoon and um, that, that whole lane, it took us about a week with three horses moving the fence each day a little bit down the line and they would graze the new section and they would have to walk back over the old section to come back out into the track. So when they were grazing it, this was open and there was a fence on the left. Right now there's just, we left the old posts so you could see where the line was. It's pretty obvious from the grass where the line was. And to the left of the fence is an area that was grazed previously about three to four weeks ago and has been fenced off since. So you can see the recovery that's starting to happen in that area. Um, and yesterday what we did was we closed this lane and we opened another lane. So we're going to be later looking at the new lane and we're going to look at some details of the recovery and the different things. But from here is just a general perspective. This is be the second time this year I've gone through this field since the horses have been in it. Um, it was rested last fall and the horses came in in January or February and these areas right in front of me on this hillside were some of the first grazed and they got a lot of traffic back and forth between the shed and the, and the, and the feeding stalls. So I'm trying to protect them. We looked at some of the different types of clovers and grasses that were germinating them in a previous video last week and I want that seed to produce and I want it to get fully hard before I bring my horses through that area. One of the reasons is that it was harder hit and it's on a hill and I know the harder hit areas need a longer recovery time. The more you take off the top, the longer it's going to need to recover before you regraze. All that time, remember, by making these long lanes, because I don't have a large herd, I'm increasing my animal impact by making longer lines instead of squares because they have to walk all the way down and then every time they want water or food or shade or whatever, they have to walk or gallop all the way back and every trip down and back is stomping more of my carbon in, which is actually what I want. I want the horses to harvest the tips, but I really want their hooves working to stomp that carbon in the ground. Not to compact the soil too much, but just to give an impact, a, a kinetic energy impact event into that soil, pushing that carbon and some of the green matter down to stimulate the microbes. And that kinetic energy of tugging at the grazing and stomping injects a whole new cycle of life in the soil. It stimulates the microbes to produce the minerals and nutrients that the plants need, as opposed to just mowing it. If I just had mowed it, I wouldn't be getting the same effect.